Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Draft Day Sports Pro Football 20 Season 5 Episode 2. So, since last episode, I have finished off the uh, pr uh, preseason. Uh, I've also finished up free agency. We've made a few signings, so we'll go in and look at that. Uh, we are picked to be the runner-up in our division with four votes. The Giants are picked to run away with it again with 12 votes. So we shall see. Uh, let's see. Team, team News. All right, here we go. So we signed uh, Lon Dion, a running back. Clayton Gathers, a 32-year-old strong safety. Jacob Turnbull, a 27-year-old uh, defensive tackle. Kendrick Keel, a 26-year-old strong safety. And James Pritchett, a 26-year-old defensive tackle. We did make a... We did make a run at a couple of guys uh, that went elsewhere, so so be it. And you can see we have some uh, a stress fracture for uh, Anthony Brown and Koch uh, fatigue. So again, with training, I went up to 24. This is just for your information if you're trying to figure out what the right numbers are. Uh, I don't have that answer for you, but I went up to, in, in training, I went up to 24 for the uh, training camp, and we ended up with a lot of, you know, the fatigue that we normally get. I'm down to 22. That's normally good, I, but I'm wondering, and if you guys know, let me know in the comments, should we go about 22 for training camp and then go down to about 20 or 19 for the season? I don't know. So let me know in the comments if you have any input on that. So Cooper, well, let's see. If we go to team news. So Brown's out. Koch is questionable. Everybody else is probable uh, with a lot of fatigue. Blurred vision for Lyle Collins uh, in week one of the preseason. And if we look at those weeks... Uh, we lost 20 to nine to Atlanta, and we did not play Dak Prescott. If he did play, it was not very much. I haven't even looked at the box scores. Uh, we played uh, Reuter, uh, try to see what he could do. Uh, there's his stats. We lost 20 to nine. Uh, first downs, we had the advantage. We were right there in total yards. Better passing, honestly, just not scoring. So, is what it is. And week two, we beat the uh, Seahawks 20-7. to seven. Again, Reuter uh, with, with uh, the game, 25-36. A lot better outing. And again, we played uh, Watson, Dion. Elliott was our number three back, but he played a little bit more in this one. We actually went with our starting receivers. So, And maybe that's something I should look at doing is, uh, say, say, that second game, rotating all of those guys. And I wish there was an option to uh, pl you know, play predominantly backups or something. Something easy, you could hit one tick box and you know the game would change over for, for one game or preseason or whatever. Um, anyway, if we look at the standings, everything's as it should be. Um, we're at the top, which we should be. <laughs> we probably won't be come the end of the season. Uh, but anyway, let's get to it. Uh, depth charts. Let's look at that real quick. So here's our offense. So Prescott, Reuter, and Rush, Elliott, Watson, Dion, our new running back that we signed. Watson, is that the guy that we just signed? Uh, yeah, that's our rookie. That's our rookie guy. Uh, Trinidad, Watson, and Dion at fullback. Cooper, Ship, Knowlton, uh, Doyle, and Gallup at receiver. Oliphant, Fagan at tight end, uh, Smith, Martin, Flores, uh, Smith, another Smith, and Collins uh, across the line for us. On the defense, we've got Goodman, uh, Collins, Lawrence, Jackson across the front, Chubb, Thomas, Harris on the linebacker core. Uh, Jalen Smith is over, over in there as well. 
Uh, actually, Thomas will be the reserve because I think we're playing a 4-3. Uh, Arrington and Brown at corner. Denmark, the nickelback. And uh, Fulmer, the dime. Gathers will be strong safety. Jones at free safety. And over on special teams, Boswell. Oh, you know what we need to do? I forgot about this. Uh, roster management. Auto adjust. All right. Oh, Knowlton gets put over on the, uh, ooh, and Vasquez on the practice squad as well. That's fair enough. All right. So let's, uh, let's give our offensive coordinator the go here. Save that. Got to remember to do that after uh, your preseason, guys. Save that. And head coach. I'm not really happy with my head coach, but it is what it is. Again, if you know of a way to get around the... Uh, Oh, you know what? Real quick. Let me pull up. All right. I did get one reply to my questions. So let's take a quick look at those. So here's my uh, draft and scouting question. So AKH, now he's actually one of the developer guys. He's not the main developer, but he's one of the guys at Wolverine that's heavily involved in the game. Uh, so uh, scouting, the extra screen. All right, so yeah, well, so let's check out this thread here. All right, so this is in the Draft Day Sports Pro Football 2018 general discussion under guides. It's a locked thread, so it should be one of the ones at the top. So, I th and I think he dropped me down into... Here, okay, so here's all the ratings, what they affect. Well, that doesn't really answer any of my any of my questions, does it? Yeah, oh well. All right, so that was a waste of our time, I guess. So anyway, moving on. We're ready. Let's kick off the 2023 20, season. 2023. All right, simulate the first week. We played Baltimore at home. Oh my God, 42 to three. Look out, we're one and oh boys. We are one and oh. It feels good to have a winning record, does it not after last year? Sweet. All right, so Ezekiel, a 25 yard touchdown run. Prescott hits Oliphant for the first passing touchdown of the season, nine yards. Elliott, a second touchdown run, nine yards. Trinidad, Five-yard pass from Prescott. Uh, Tucker, that's for Baltimore. Lon Dion, our free agent signing, scores. And High Watson, our rookie running back, he scores his first career touchdown. Reuter, 10 of 14. Hopefully that's just mop-up time. Elliott, 116 yards, two scores, four on the ground. Cooper, 7 for 71. Ship four for 54. Fagan, Winston Fagan. He's a rookie. Rookie tight end. Sweet. Uh, Boswell, six of six. No field goal attempts. Denmark was on special teams. All right, that's a way to kick off the season, is it not? All right, let's check our emails. Nothing there, nothing there. Let's go down to the team news. All right, that's the only injury still. So, oh wait, Arrington, broken hip. Ow. 
Oh, that's our big rookie, is he not? Oh, that's our first round pick this year. Oh my God. Um, 12 to 16 weeks of broken freaking hip. Oh, that's brutal. Um, okay. So we need to go to roster. And we need to go down to the cornerback. We need to go to Arrington. Uh, let's do roster management. And Arrington is here. And we want to move him to IR. Out for the season, yes. Uh, now, Ruiz or Herndon. Speed, 88. Speed, 84. Um, he's 24 and a rookie. He's 25. He's 23 in, in his second year. So I'm going to move him to active. All right. So that fills that up. Let's go back to depth chart for defense. All right, so that's going to move Brown up to the corner, starting corner. Denmark now is in. Fulmer and Thomas are nickel and dimes. Oh, that's brutal. Brutal, man. All right, week two. Home game against Minnesota, and they beat us 30 to 24, 24 first half points. We out, had more first downs, more yards, 8.9 yards a carry. Jesus. Two turnovers. So they had a pick six, an 88-yard run. Pedro Teal, that was the rookie. That was the guy that went real early, like top three or whatever. Uh, Trinidad with a one-yard run. Fagan from Prescott. Uh, Xavier, uh, two, so two interceptions and they were both pick sixes. Well, you can't do that. I mean, that's 14 points, right? If we hadn't done that, we would have won this game handily. Elliott, 118 yards. Oliphant, six for 82. Cooper goes over 100. Uh, three for three and he hit one field goal over 50 yards. So he's one for one. Not happy with the loss. The picks is what did it. Uh, we have received a trade offer from the Bears. All right, let's go to the trade screen. They want Suafilo, and they want to give me a 71 guard and a seventh round pick. A 71 guard, Benny Underwood. I've got a lot of guards, I think, right? So let's go look at the Bears. Chicago Bears. Oh, I can't even see it from here, can I? All right, let's go there. Roster. Guard. What was his name? Underwood. There he is. Strength. So he's got good strength. He's actually not a bad blocker. He's pretty affordable. Yeah, you know what? Um, nah. Hold on. Let's, let's look at our roster and our guards. Come on, guards. We actually have quite a few guards. Uh, nah, you know what? I'm going to reject that. Uh, da, da, da. We're going to delete that, go to the trade screen, and we are going to reject it. 
All right, so he's still on the trade block. Fair enough. Uh, week three. Oh, any team news? Brown still out with his stress fracture. So he's not starting. So even though he's listed as our number one corner, he's not going to even be in the game, right? So we're missing both of our top corners. So that means it's Denmark, who started the season as our nickel, free agent pickup last year. Now he's our number one, and our dime is our number two. Yeah, we're, we're, we're in trouble there. All right, but we'll get Brown back next week. All right, so we'll do week three. We play on the road at Washington, and we blow them out 30 to 17. Got to like that. All right, Dak Pre Amari Cooper, two touchdowns, over 100 yards. Uh, Oliphant from Prescott. Boswell with a field goal. Prescott to Cooper for 58. Boswell hits another 50-plus yard field goal. We give up a 62-yard punt return. Cooper from Prescott for 18. Boswell another field goal. And then uh, so Prescott's 14 of 23, three touchdowns. Elliott, 87 yards. Cooper and Ship, both with 105 yards receiving. Very nice. And three for three, and three for three on field goals, including one of over 50. He is doing well this year. All right. Nothing, nothing. Team news. All right, Smith is out with migraines. Brown is still out for one to two weeks. All right. Again, you don't have to rotate because even if you go into the depth chart and redo it, they're going to still put the injured players in. So, all right, on the road against Cleveland. 23-16, got to like it. We are 3-1, and one, boys. All right, Prescott gets tackled for a safety. That sucks. Then they go up with a touchdown. Boswell with a 39-yard field goal. Elliott with a 9-yard touchdown. 41-yard field goal. Baker Mayfield with a touchdown. Boswell with a 37-yard field goal to tie the game. And with 638 left in the game, Prescott finds Randy Ship for the 18-yard game winner. 21 of 29, so he is 65.8% completion, eight touchdowns, four interceptions. We're going to win some games doing that. Remember the last couple of years, he was down under 50%. 58, 58, 59, so yeah. yeah you got to be a little bit better than that, Decky boy. Elliott, 87 yards. Watson, 19 yards. Ship with 92 Cooper was 73 and three of three in field goals. I think uh, he was a good pickup. Just needed some time, right? Just needed some time. All right. We're looking there. Team news. Thank you. to I forget who did it, but thank you for that. All right. So Brown is now doubtful. Smith is doubtful. Everybody else is back to full strength. So we're coming together. Coming together. All right, we travel to Arizona. 80 degrees, windy, small chance of rain. And we win 31-17. We are now 4-1. and one. All right, we fall behind early. Prescott breaks a 45-yard run. Uh, Vincent Greer to Andy Isabella. Elliott with a 12-yard run puts us back up. Boswell adds a 30-yard field goal. Uh, we get a pick six. Clayton gathers a 20-yard interception return. Prescott to Cooper in the red zone. And Isabella with his second touchdown to make it closer. 18 of 25, 201 yards, one touchdown. Elliott reaches 100 yards with a score. Elliott Watson, seven carries for six yards. That's not very good. Six for 74 in the score. Okay. Four for four on extra points. One for one. Is he perfect on field goals? Um, field goals, 100%. Eight for eight. Much better than last year. 
I guess he just had to settle in, you know. He was rusty getting picked up mid-season or after the first quarter of the season, right? All right, one more game in this sim, and then we'll take a look at the stats and everything. Let's check the news. All right, he's still questionable. Smith is now probable. Stiff neck for Lyle Collins. And we're at home with the G-Men. Oh, I didn't want to show the score, but that's all right. Bam, bam, bam. 20 to 17. Beat down the Giants. Nice. All right, Boswell, field goal. Daniel Jones to Sterling Shepard, field goal. Boswell makes it 10-6 with his second field goal. Elliott puts us on top late in the third quarter with an eight-yard run. High Watson, a touchdown run. And then uh, Daniel Jones gets one back. A little too late, but I think we were probably, well, you know, we had over 100 yards. Big play-wise, it looks like uh, they had a better game. Jones evidently had a better game. Prescott, 24 of 36. Two more picks. Thankfully, no turnovers. Uh, they really shut down our rushing game. 17 for 29 for Elliott. 7 for 90 for Ship. 6 for 174 for Cooper, but no touchdowns. Uh, Oliphant, 5 for 43. Boswell, 2 for 2 on field goal attempts. So he's now 10 of 10 on the season. I think that's all good news, fellas. Um, let's see. Any news? Migraines? Question. So he's still questionable. And Gallup is now out one to two weeks with a dislocated shoulder. All right. Standings? Packers, Vikings, Bears, all at four and two. That is a tight, tight division. I hope to God this is recording. I just noticed, uh, yep, it is good. Yay. Uh, four to two, uh, Tampa Bay with a one-game lead over the Saints and the Falcons. We are five and one, a two-game advantage over the Eagles. And the Giants are struggling this year, one and five. Cardinals at four and two, so we actually beat a division leader. They're a game up on the Niners. Over on the American League side, we've got Pittsburgh with a game advantage on Cincinnati and uh, Houston. And the Jaguars at 5-1, and one, running away with that division. Jets and the Patriots, 4-2. and two. The Patriots making a rebound. Raiders, 4-1. and one. Chiefs, 3-3. Three and, three. and look at this. We are on the leaderboard in scoring. Nothing else, though. Number 6. Total yardage, number six rushing, number eight passing. I'll be happy with that. Number five in scoring defense, number two in, total, in yardage defense, number one against the pass, and number 13 against the rush, 99.8 yards a game. If we take a look at the team, team statistics, there we are. All right, Prescott, 66.9%, nine touchdowns, six interceptions. Little, ah, little discombobulated with that. Reuter is uh, 16 of 22, 72%. So he's, he's looking like he might be the real deal. Uh, rushing Elliott, 537 yards, five touchdowns, five other touchdowns between the running, running game. Cooper with 35 catches, 601 yards, four touchdowns. Uh, Ship, 437. He's on track for possibly a 1,000-yard season. Um, and nobody, well, you know, 100-catch season as well for him. Not quite there. Uh, let's see. Any, anybody standing out? Fagan, 21 for 130, 26 for 240. So the... Tight ends, 47 catches and 370 yards between them. Special teams, different season, of course. Uh, let's see. That's Denmark. Uh, that's, I'm, kicking is what I'm thinking about. Uh, interceptions, two for Gathers. 34 tackles for Collins. Six sacks for Lawrence. And kicking, 
10, 10 for 10 on field goals, 20 for 20 on extra points. I think it's a good season, boys. And coming up, we've got uh, the next six games. We've got a uh, road game against the Giants, back-to-back. -back. The schedule making's got to be fixed. That's You just don't get schedules like that. Home game with the Saints, road game to Tampa Bay, road game to Atlanta, and a home game to Philadelphia. So that's the next slate of games. Uh, we have our bye week uh, next week. So we'll take care of that first uh, next episode. But off to a great start to the season, guys. Let me know what you think of our free agent signings. Uh, let me know uh, the, the injury blow to our cornerback was really bad, I think. Uh, so too bad we won't get to see what he does. Uh, let's take a quick look at contracts. So we do have a few guys that we're going to have to look at. I will look at these guys off camera and see what we want to do. Uh, we are at 94 million. We do drop uh, quite a bit, but you know we've got to figure out who to re-sign here. So um, yeah, I'll try to do that off camera, and uh, we'll go from there. Guys, hit the like button, subscribe if you don't mind, and uh, look forward to hearing any and all comments from you. And we'll see you guys next episode. Have a good one. Bye.